everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It's Priscilla, aka P Killer, back from the YouTube graveyard. Last time I uploaded, I said I was back and then I didn't come back. But I'm here again. I wanted to have a very special guest come on here for my first 2024 video on YouTube. And of course, who other than my very best friend, Sylvia? Yeah, 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 yeah. Get over there. Go away! Please excuse this interruption as I put my dogs back. <laughs> so, Happy New Year's to everyone. Happy New Year's, Sylvia. Happy New Year's. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I hope everyone's been having a great start for the new year of 2024. And I think to start off this video, I think we should talk about like what are some 2024 goals that you have? Like, is there anything yeah. specific that you want to work towards this year? Well, one, I've been asked by Priscilla and Destiny and more homegirls about vision boards, and I've never made one. If I had to. I already have one and think about what I wanted to do. I've said that I want to hike more this year because I used to hike a lot and it's 12 months. So I would like to hike at least 12 times in the year. That's once a month and I think that's one of the things that I can do. Yeah, that's really good. And I remember we used to go hiking together when I didn't live across the world. Across you know? the world? <laughs> yeah. Do you guys do vision boards? I've been doing vision boards for like the past four years. Right now, it's currently still the first week of January. I haven't finished my vision board, but I will be getting to it ASAP. I haven't even started, but me too. We're gonna do it together. Yeah. But uh, for me, um, two of my goals for 2024, one of them was swimming. I wanted to get back into like swimming more like regularly at like the gym that I go to, um, which I already started. Um, I used to swim back in college, so I definitely want to like get back into that because I know it's really good cardio. And another one of my goals for 2024 was to freaking upload a video on YouTube. And which here it is! Are. So upload I am it. doing my goals right now. That's right. And of course, I have a long list of other things I want to get done in 2024. But we're going to keep it short right there. Yeah. What are some of your goals for 2024 that you are Comments. working towards? Let us know down below. But anyways, yeah, let's get into some juicy topics. So, Anyone? So. To start off, here's this one, Sylvia. Would you rather be married to someone who's good looking, but who thinks you're ugly? <laughs> or... <laughs> Wait, or... if I'm married, huh? why would I marry me? If I'm ugly? Or would you rather be with someone who's ugly, but they adore you? Like, they think you're like the most that. beautiful person ever. <laughs> I, I want the ugly person that adores me because I want to be adored, okay? I want someone to like, <laughs> you know, like that'd be great. And I'm gonna just put a paper bag over him whenever. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I agree. I cannot be married to someone who's like super handsome, but they think I'm ugly. Yeah. Like, dude, that's gonna affect my self-esteem so bad. Why do we get married? <laughs> Was it a dare? <laughs> Who dared dare? you? <laughs> Yeah, honestly, and you know what they say, like, beauty is not forever. It's all yes. about what's inside Personality. Here. Yeah, and I've dated some pretty ugly people in the past. <laughs> but they had some great personalities and they were really funny. So that made, that made up for it. <laughs> so I picked the second one. <laughs> Never mind. I picked the second one also. Me too. <laughs> anyway, so that was a great start. Yeah. So here's another juicy question. Because I feel like this question, I've, I've heard it a lot, and I feel like people have very, very different opinions on this. What do you guys think? Also comment down below. Splitting the bill on the first date and going 50-50. What do you think about that? How do you feel? Because I know you were like on some dating apps in the past, and so you've gone on pretty, <clears throat> pretty good amount of dates. Yeah, yeah. So how do you feel? I mean, I think every female is different mm -hmm. because... I know some girls that I need everything paid for, hair, makeup, lashes, lips, first, especially the first date, like, I, you know, I need that paid for. Um, and I don't know if that's like a just, you're just, you have yourself at this higher standard. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not like that. <laughs> um, I don't, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I feel like that's cool to be able to do that and like know that that's what you like and need. Like, that's dope because my homegirls that are like that, that's cool for them. You know, sometimes I wish I was like that. Um, however, I actually feel that on every first date, whoever I'm with, whether guy or girl, I feel like they have paid for it. Mm -hmm. I feel like the first date has so do you been feel that. like they should pay for it because it's a first um, date? I guess, ugh. I want to say, I feel like I'm split because whenever I I would be the initiator to take a female out on a date, I do like to pay. Okay, because you're her. you're suggesting the date. 
right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there, you said it. I think mm -hmm. the person that suggested the date, the first date, should be the payer of the date. Mm -hmm. So if a guy asked me out on a date, then it would be cool and nice if they paid for it. But yeah, with girls, whenever I'm the one that asks. I do pay for it. Mm -hmm. But you know, splitting the bill, I'm fine. I'm fine splitting the bill if you need. <laughs> I don't know how to answer this question. No, it's okay. I okay. feel like I'm all over so, the place. So yeah, for me, I feel if the if the guy asks me out on a date, then I feel like ideally like they should pay for the date. But also I feel it also comes down to how good was that date. If we are having that date and yeah. I feel no chemistry with that guy and I feel like it's just going really bad, honestly, bro, I'll fucking pay for it and I'll just never talk to you again. <laughs> or I'll get my off for it because I see like there's we're, there's nowhere we're not going anywhere after this. Like I'll just split it, <laughs> fuck it. But if it's a really good day and like I'm vibing with you and we're getting along and I feel like okay, there's gonna be a potential second date, then yeah, I feel like you should pay. Yeah. And if you don't pay, then I'm probably gonna be turned off about it. And yeah. I'm okay, I, I want to change my answer. Of course, I want everyone to pay for my first date. Yeah. So, <laughs> I feel it depends. If we have a great date, then and you initiated the date, then yeah, you should pay. But if the date is fucking sucking, yeah, then okay, then yeah, we'll fucking. Suck I like that. Whatever. I like that you said whoever suggested the date should pay for it because someone along my life has said. If I ask, I pay. If no, you ask, you pay. And, that's and I feel cool. like as men, like you should want to pay at least for the first date. You know, like you know. Cause it's like show me your bank gonna, account. If you don't pay for a date, you ain't getting a. <laughs> and even if you do, sometimes you're not getting anything either. But <laughs> anyways, yeah. What are your thoughts on that? Should people split the bill the first day, or should the guy pay? Should the girl pay? What are your thoughts? All right. Ooh. Okay. So this is a good one. I don't want it. This is a good one. Do you think it's okay to date your friends' exes? Absolutely not. Dude, hell no, you should never Absolutely date not. your friend's exes. We're not friends anymore if you date my ex. The whole time we were together, like you had a, a thing for my man back then or something like that, you know? There was a person who ended up dating their sister's ex-husband and then married the sister's ex-husband. Married my sister's ex-husband. Ex so this girl, so two sisters, two sisters married had the a sisters, husband, uh huh, and they divorced, and then because, she married because the sister found out that he was cheating Dang. with the sister, and so they divorced, but then the sister stayed Dang. and married the ex-husband. That's some shady shit. I have two. Imagine? I have. Fuck. Dang, I don't know if I can say this. I would never talk to my sister again. Ever. You're like you're. Well, I got two me. brothers, so. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, I know of two sisters. That this sister, you know what? I don't even want to say this story because they watch, watch this video. Ask. Well, I mean, honestly, they didn't even care. So this older sister dated this guy, uh -huh. and a year later, the younger sister joined our university and also dated the guy. And the older sister, they knew about it. Yeah, older oh. sister, she didn't care at all. She was like, I don't care. I don't care about him anymore. Like, if you, she, if my sister, and she was cool with it. She was cool that her sister dated. Her ex-boyfriend, she was 100% like, I don't care, it's fine. And yeah, that, that happened. Damn, people are weird. We're doing some That's crazy. scandalous stuff, man. Okay, okay, so I really need you guys to leave your comments down below for this one because I would love to get like some guy pers guy's perspective on this particular question. Whatever, dude. What does it really mean when a guy says, I'm not ready for a relationship? Why do you gotta? Why do you really want to get these comments, Marcella? <laughs> okay, okay. What I think you okay. So I'm saying this because I've asked like guys on behalf of my girlfriend, not not you, but like you know someone that was going through something that was dating a guy that would look like, oh, I'm not ready for a relationship, and I was like, oh, so what do you guys mean by that? And basically, the guy's perspective, which let me know if this is true, because I know everyone's different. He basically was like, honestly. A guy's always looking for a relationship, but if a guy tells you he's not ready for a relationship, it's because he doesn't see a relationship with you and he's just liking what you guys are doing together. Like a guy's always looking to be in a relationship, but if he doesn't see it with you Damn, within like the deep. first, like, that's deep on. I'm gonna go cut myself. That's, that's, what's, uh, that's what, <laughs> what somebody told me. And I was like, yeah. damn, that is. So yeah, I feel like that guy's just not that into that guy's not that into you. He's just not that he into you. He just wants to fuck. Yeah. And if you're allowing it, 
and then you start getting feelings because you have he's having his cake and eat it for free because i Without feel like guys have like their main girl that girl they know is there yeah. and is gonna stay even if you're giving her the bare minimum she's gonna stay damn and he still wants to do all the things i feel like either yeah he's just not that into you like you say, he's maybe looking for another relationship or he just enjoys being single and flirting and talking to multiple women, mm -hmm. sending them the same good morning, beautiful message every day, <laughs> asking the same messages. Because I have a lot of guy homies that look at their text messages, girl, 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 same conversations with everybody, just wasting their time. Damn. Like, you know, so yeah, guys just want to fuck. They just want to be single. They just want to do whatever. Or and, and a lot of guys do enjoy having that main girl. That's a good ass girl. That's there because they know she's gonna stay through the bullshit. Damn, 2024. 20, 20, Wait, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, who, you can start. You can start. Yeah, okay. I feel like it's your responsibility, as in my responsibility, your responsibility, that you're satisfied in the bedroom. Because if you feel like you're not being satisfied, you need to communicate that with your partner. Like if he's going, you know, down there on you and you don't you don't you don't like how he's doing it, you better tell him the correct way. You better tell him where to find your lentil. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So I feel like it's Do you each see lentil? Low lentil. <laughs> your little bean you know just, just to give you an example yeah i feel like it's each our own responsibility to make sure we're satisfied because if we don't feel satisfied and you yeah. don't let your partner know then yeah. how they're gonna know they're probably in yeah. their head like oh my god i satisfy my girl or my guy so much and no in reality like you yeah don't. so i think yeah communication yeah. yeah i agree because people can say it's my partner's responsibility but also he or she could be doing something that is not good at all. And they're probably thinking, oh, this is so good. This so position is bomb, like, damn, you know, da, da, da. And, like, we both need to come. Like, it, it can't just be one person, you yeah. know? So, yeah, like she said, if, you know, you should have communication in the bedroom to say, you like this, you don't like that, I like this position, I don't like this position, move here, suck there more, lick here more. That should be very fluid in the bedroom. I think that you should have a very open communication just because then yeah. you're not gonna have good sex with your partner. Yeah, I think that's, that's really good. And now to lead on to the next question. All right, so say you're like in the beginning stage of dating a guy, how do you feel about him liking like a bunch of girls pictures or like even like you happen to have mutual friends or whatever and you see that he's liked all of them and like Maybe put some flirtatious comments on on some of them, and you're just starting to date this guy. How like like seeing each other, like in a relationship. No, like you're barely seeing each other. Yeah. You've gone on a couple dates, and then one day you just decide go check what he's liking, and then you see like he's been liking all these girls' pages that he follows, and here and there you see like flirtatious comments, like in your birdie. I dating. feel that I feel that in the beginning I don't really think about that stuff. Mm -hmm. However, I would like. For there not to be flirtatious comments, I think that would bother me. Mm -hmm. um, the liking, I think I cared about that more back in the day, like with other exes, and I feel like it would bother me and this and that. But I feel like now, I feel like now I don't really trip on it, even though obviously I would like for them not to do it. Yeah. But it's not something that I bring up like that. But flirtatious comments, I'd be pissed. I'd be pissed for sure. And then as far as like. I've met the, some of their female friends. I don't care if they like their female friends' photos, you know? Like, I, it wouldn't bother me. Because I have male friends that I'm also going to like their pictures. But flirtatious comments is a whole nother thing. Well, I'm toxic, so let me tell you what I, I would think. not be okay with flirtatious, comment, <laughs> fr flirtatious comments. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I feel the same. I don't really ever, like, look into that, but it was one question. So, yeah. I feel if I'm really dating this guy and I not really care about, like, what he's liking. Because I feel like... I'd be liking guys' pictures too. You know? Yeah, yeah. But if you're like, if I see he's like being flirtatious with like multiple people, yeah, then I feel like that man. I don't feel like he's ready to be in a relationship because I feel like he's still going to like through like his fuck boy phase. That he's just like because trying to no see what the heck he could get from all these to leave girls. flirtatious comments. Yeah, like he's not ready to like be committed to anyone right now because he's just trying to like 
put his little seeds everywhere. Get his dick wet. <laughs> yeah. So at that point, I probably, if I was kind of liking him, but I see that in my head, it's already a turn off, and I'll probably be like, mm, I don't think this is the man for me. Yeah. And then I'll move on. Yeah. So yeah, that's what I think. Yeah. And that's that's a T. Yeah, that's right. the T. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tea or coffee? Tea. Tea. Mm -hmm, it's better for you. Tea. Mm -hmm. I haven't had coffee. Oh, you had to stop, huh? Yeah. I, I've had a coffee been. addiction. <laughs> <laughs> On my nipple. <laughs> On my bag, girl. Um, <laughs> um, I never liked coffee. I tried coffee for the first time in 2017, and I pretty much had an anxiety attack and I was about to drive myself to the hospital <laughs> oh, from shit. work and I told my boss, I don't feel good, well, you know, something's happening inside me and in April, she was like, what happened, what'd you do today? And I told her and she's like, oh, Sylvia, it's the <laughs> coffee. And I was like, why do you like this? Like, why, why do you guys enjoy drinking yeah. this? She's like, it's because it's your first time and blah, blah. And I was like, hell no, nah. I never liked coffee. Yeah. It, I felt like my insides were like this and I couldn't control it, but that's crazy. Tea. Tea. Yeah, tea. same. Definitely team tea now. I was team coffee back then, but not anymore. Addict over here. I was an addict. <laughs> but no, not anymore. I feel like tea and water with lemon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Changing it up a little bit. Do you have any travel plans for this year? Do you have any places that you already know, like, okay, I'm going to go here? Or any places that you would want to go? Also, fun fact, me and Sylvia have never traveled together. This bitch over here. How dare This you? bitch. We've never traveled First together. First of all. What the hell, bro? We've talked about planning this and this and that, and it has just never happened, which well, is very weird. 2024. But January, end of January, oh, yeah. we're going to Culiacan, Sinaloa. We're going to Culiacan, Sinaloa. For, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, a wedding. It's going to be yeah. so much fun. We're going to have a blast. Yes, we are. Um, so I guess that will be our first time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we need to do another one, like besides that, honestly. Yeah. Um, the only things that I have set in stone for 2024, not really like flying out, yeah. but the only things set in stone are EDC in Vegas and Coachella in Indio, Coachella Valley. Yeah. Those are the two things that I have set in stone. Other than that, I don't have anything set in stone. I would like to visit a lot of places. I actually just did that video, I mean that post, you know how Instagram had, add yours, and it was the United States? Mm, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, mm -hmm. I filled it out and I've been, in the US, I've been to 28. That's good. So I want to continue to get Spend to 50. It. That's good, yeah. that's really good. Um, same for me, I definitely want to travel new places this year. But set in stone, I haven't really like planned on my calendar yet. For sure, Culiacan, Sinaloa. Yeah. Last year, I did like Hawaii, I went to a different island, and then Mexico, and Oregon. Yeah. So this year, definitely. I feel like I'd be down to go to Oregon again, <coughs> but Portland. I have never been to Portland. Yeah. So Portland for sure, and I want to go to Washington, D.C. because I was telling Sylvia earlier, I don't know if you guys have heard of wing, wing flying, but I was supposed to do it a year ago. However, I had a situation that happened, so I had to postpone my booking. But it's basically when you're attached to the top of like an airplane. Literally. Literally, guys. And then they just go, whoo. And you're standing on it you're standing while the on plane it. even like flips and does yeah. tricks. It's called, I think, what was it called? Wing, Wing flying? flying. Something like that. Yeah, I'll insert something. Yeah. There, but besides it. that, she's gone skydiving. I haven't, so we're doing it again. Yeah, but first we gotta do the wing thing. We're gonna do the wing it's thing. It's in Washington, so if anybody wants to join us here and be on top of the airplane and go, woo, let us know. Let's do we it. We could do it a, a trip. Yeah. <laughs> All right, okay. So let's see. Do you have like any icks? Um, what icks are you living in 2024? Wait, in 2023. Actually, no. What we're, we're not leaving any icks in 2020. You mean like icks of myself? No, I guess not. I don't know what I'm trying to say. No, what wait, no, 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 having okay. people? Okay. So for sure, one of my icks is when I'm eating and like there's a person next to me that's also eating. If I could hear you chew like really loud. Dude, that gives my ear the ick. Like, I, yeah. I don't want to hear you chew. And I yeah. know sometimes it's like inevitable. Like, you're going to have to chew. Like, even if you try to chew really slow. Yeah. I just don't want to hear you, dude. Yeah. That is sometimes gross. Sometimes people chew really gross. Yeah. So that's one of my icks for sure. Don't yeah. chew around me. Once you said that that was one of your icks, I then realized that that is also one of my icks. Yeah. I feel like I, I can't really think of any. I think when you know a story that someone is saying <laughs> yeah. and you know they're lying that irritates me because it's like 
I know. And I know the facts, you know? They're like saying something, you're like, wait a minute. Like, that didn't That's happen. That's not what happened. say that, or they didn't say that. <laughs> I think in general, lying. Lying. Sorry, I'm more about that. Liars, yeah. Liars it are icks. If we oh, you know it. what my other ick is? But I, I feel like I've been there, though, in the past. And I feel like you could, I could attest to that. But it's my ick now. What? I'm scared. My animals don't think to be scared about my ick. Yeah. Ah! One of my icks, I feel, is like when you like set a date like to make plans with somebody and then they flake on you. But then they do it like three times in a row. <sighs> That's an ick. Yeah. At that point, I'm like, I don't even want to hang out with you anymore. Yeah. You icky person. Oh, I have two icks before they leave. Okay, go. One ick is going off that story. One time I had um, a brunch planned with this person uh -huh. And I show up, right, and I'm there, and I'm sitting down, and they're like, oh, you want a menu? And I'm like, I'm waiting for someone. And then I call this person, and they're like, hello? I was like, did I just wake you up? Yeah. And I was like, we're supposed to have brunch right now. Wow. And they were like, oh, I thought it was next weekend. And wow. I was like, no, it was today. Don't worry about I'm it. I'm here right now. Me peiné, me bañé y todo. Y yeah, y todo, 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 todo. Me arrené. Yeah, I hung up, had my breakfast, <laughs> made friends with all the workers, and then I drove my ass home, never spoke to that person again. Damn. <laughs> that, that's a big gig. Yeah. But no. But another ick is oh, go, go, go. no 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 you go go, go, go. go, go. no no I think you go. rock paper scissors see who goes rock. hold on rock paper scissors then shoot okay rock, rock paper scissors shoot okay. ah. there you go. <laughs> another ick is when I think not necessarily a date with someone or like a friend with some whenever you're hanging out with just a one person not a group setting yeah if that person is on their phone mm. a lot mm -hmm. or often I don't care about like texting you know I text she texts he texts whoever texts but. If like, damn, I'm here to kick it with you and you're just gonna be on your phone. Yeah, might as well call, text the person to come over here so you guys can talk in person yeah. and all leave. Or I could have just stayed home and been texting you if that's like cool. Yeah. Cause yeah, that's really irritating. Yeah. Yeah, cause okay. I think when I'm with just one person, whether male, female, I like to like have my phone away and like focus on the moment. Mm -hmm. That's, that's a good one. Yeah. That's an ick. Honestly, I forgot my ick right now. I know, that's why I was like, <laughs> let me say mine. I forgot um, my ick. I was talking about brunch. I know. Rock, paper, scissors, um... It's okay. Dang. Okay, I guess this is an ick, but not really an ick. Okay. It's like a, a situational ick. <laughs> situation Okay, ick. my ick is when a person decided they wanted to have like a birthday dinner. And I was a part of that birthday dinner. But in my head, I had already ate before I went, but I still showed up. Because I wanted to like yeah. show up for them, right? Oh, so my ick oh, is that I know what you're gonna say. Yeah, my ick is that this person failed to tell everyone that she had already like <laughs> got the appetizer, the entree, the the meal, the dessert, like a big package deal, and she failed to tell that to the people group in that advance. it was gonna be split. So I evenly. went there with the intention to not even eat, just get a drink because I was like on a budget back then. And when she hit me with the bill, bro, that was an ick. It's like, dude, how are you not gonna tell? Dude, the bill was like, yeah. If you're gonna invite people and yeah. you already have this this thing set up, like, give people a heads up about it. What if like someone is on a budget and they don't want to do that, but yeah. they want to join you, you know? Because so I, that's an ick. You should definitely tell your group. I chose a menu. I chose the food. I chose a drink, and this is what it's gonna be between everybody. Like, do you, are you down or not? Yeah, you know? are you down or not? Because I was not down, but I still paid, and I was like pissed because yeah. I didn't eat shit. Mm -hmm. I didn't eat anything. Yeah. I just sipped my water. Yeah. Or I think I got like a coffee. Yeah. And to add along to and that, I was like, bro. I sorry. brought a friend with me that day. We were there too. And he didn't even know this person. And he, and he got to be part of the bill too. And I was like, damn, dude, I'm sorry. And to top it off, the person, because we could, we they were only available to pay with one card. The person that birthday thing was was not even able to pay with their own card, so she had to borrow someone else's credit card to pay the bill. And then we had to just like- Damn, no. dude, yeah. Yeah, so that was, that was pretty crazy, you know? That's an ick. Yeah. And especially, I feel like, okay, if you're like a really, really close group, then it's cool. I feel like people are just down to be like, okay, fuck it, like, just put it all together. Yeah. But I feel like that night, like- We I were not. I didn't know a lot of people we there. Not. I just went for that person, you know? Yeah. So at that point, yeah, like, no, girl, tell me in advance. Yeah. But anyways, how do you feel about that? How important is it for people to have sex in a relationship or good sex in a relationship to maintain a healthy relationship? That was like a tongue twister. Edible and let sex. Well, what do you think um, on that? What are your thoughts? Well, I mean, I think sex is important 100%. I think good sex is important because 
I don't think I would be with someone or married or have a partner that the sex is bad. Um, I've had a situation where... <laughs> it's like, I'm gonna sneeze my bad, my bad. Oh, <laughs> so you were like, really? I don't know what you... I was gonna sneeze, but then I don't know what happened. It went away, okay. Um, I was talking to this person and everything was cool. There was feelings. And then we hooked up for the first time and it was terrible. Mm -hmm. And it was crazy because that's when I realized sex is important because my feelings that I had prior out the door. I didn't even yeah. want to hit this person up anymore. I didn't want to hang out, meet up, nothing. It was that bad. It, Damn. Yeah, because I think especially the first time, like you want to bring your A game. You yeah. want to like, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> make sure you, you want to try all the free Yeah, try, you want to keep this person. And it was bad. And um, I think we probably had one or two conversations after that, like texting and never saw that person again. Damn, and that's crazy. Yeah, it's important, very, very important. important. Very important, thank you, next question. Very important. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so to end this video on a good note, for this 2024, what is like a quote, or what is a <clears throat> saying or something that you are taking into 2024? That's what is your entourage, what is your quote, Yeah. anything? I feel like back in the day, I definitely used to save quotes and write quotes and memorize quotes, but I feel like I would just say, that life is sweet, life is short, so you have to make it sweet. Mm. And just how my homie Jay Taj, our homie Jay Taj, love, just love. I think that we should do everything in love because you never know when it's someone's last day. And I love hard, I love my friends hard, I love my neighbors hard, I love my partners hard, you know, and you should just love everyone that you meet and have an interaction with in love because you never know what they're going through and yeah. that's the best gift that you can give to someone love that's true that's a really yeah. good one i love that Do you to cry? Yeah. <laughs> um for me i feel like one quote i think it went something like what if it doesn't work but what if it does Ooh. so that's what i'm taking into 2024 meaning don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone don't be afraid to like Take risks. Take risks because you never know what's going to happen at the other side of you actually getting out of your comfort zone. Being uncomfortable means you're growing. So yeah. definitely that's... Just do it. Just fucking do it. Well, thank you so much, Sylvia, for being here with Thanks, me. Girl. In my first <laughs> video back on YouTube, back from the dead. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Leave a comment. And all our social media are down below. Yeah, and we're gonna come back with another Ciao. yoga video. <laughs> oh yeah, so if you guys wanna see us do more yoga videos that we used to do, we're doing it. We're doing it. <laughs> when you don't wanna see it. Eh. <laughs>